So today I'm going to talk a little bit about digestive enzymes. I think patients oftentimes get these confused with probiotics. Remember, probiotics um, give you the good bacteria to help with digestion, but this is a little different. A digestive enzyme literally helps you break down protein so that you can get adequate nutrition from your food. There are different types of digestive enzymes out there. You've probably heard of lac, um, lactase that helps break down the milk sugar, lactose. Um, but there are a lot of other sugars, proteins that your body sometimes can't digest. Proteins putrefy, carbs really ferment, and that's why you can get gassy and bloated when you eat certain meals. Actually, if you've had your gallbladder removed, you might notice you don't digest fat very well. Some of those patients need more than digestive enzymes. They actually need an enzyme, sometimes with a little hydrochloric acid or even a little ox bile. If you don't have that organ to help you produce the bile, you can't break down your fats, and thus you need an enzyme that has that with it. We have enzymes here without bile and without hydrochloric acid for patients who don't want those. Um, our, this particular digestive enzyme has 20 different enzymes to help you break down really 20 different proteins. It's a very comprehensive enzyme. We have this that contains bromelain, and then we also have one without bromelain for patients who have a pineapple allergy. Um, we also have a separate digestive enzyme that does have the ox bile and does have a little hydrochloric acid. Remember, you need acid also to be able to break down your food. We have that enzyme also with bromelain and one without bromelain for patients with allergies. So if you've been having some issues with digestion, um, maybe feel gassy and bloated after eating, you've tried probiotics and you're really not making much progress, consider taking a digestive enzyme with um, your most problematic meals of the day.